Hey y'all, it's your girl Unknown Goddess Turret. How is everyone doing? Welcome back to my beautiful subscribers. And if you're new, please like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button. Welcome. Um, if you're seeking a personal reading, you can go ahead and check that out on my website at livinginpersonal.style. And um, what else I want to let you guys know? I posted a video in regards to speaking about the root chakra, um, which is the base root. You can see my information here. Um, and so I, I will be coming um, more often and talking about each chakra and how you can manifest in each chakra. Um, okay, so you can go ahead and check out that video. I posted it earlier today and I just dropped another video. Um, this video right here is a general love reading. Okay. Uh, let's see how. Let's see. What's going on out here in the love love energy? We just pull some general love energy out here, all right? Pull some messages out here. So let's see what's going on for my beautiful collective and their love situations right now. All right? So my guardians, my angels of the white lights, give me some clear, honest messages out here. Use me as a vessel to let me know what's going on in my collective's love life. All right, so I'm going to be using a romance angel. And then if I feel like, hmm, I'll go a little further with another deck. Let's just flow. I just let it flow, right? <laughs> All right, come on. Let's get some cards out here. Let's see what's going on out here. Yes, I'm hearing what you say now. What you feel now. To be real. Somebody's feeling it's got to be real. Oh, what we got out here, Spirit? Okay, what you say now? Mm -mm -mm. What you feel now? Mm -mm. Could be real, got to be real. Got to be, could be real. All right. So we have romantic feelings in the reverse. Free yourself. Explore. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I feel like somebody's out here hiding these emotions. Okay. And it's time to take back control of your life. Okay. Free yourself is what I'm hearing. Is what it's saying. I'm sorry. Um, free yourself because I feel like addictions are affecting your romantic love life in the reverse. So I feel like somebody is freeing themselves from a karmic. Because a codependent energy out here. It's in the reverse. So somebody already freed themselves from this retreat. Okay. They don't feel like it's a rom it's romantic at all. Or somebody's up in their head um, about these romantic feelings for someone. But they're not saying anything. I have two energies out here so far. Okay. So somebody, I feel like whoever they're with, this codependent energy out here um, that they're retreating with. I feel like they don't feel like they have these romantic feelings anymore. And so they free themselves. They, they've taken back. Um, it's time to take back control and free yourself. Okay. Because I feel like they're over here with this. Okay. So that's one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they're with a codependent partner that they already free themselves from. Or you. Have already freed yourself from. I have a feeling like this is this is a um, let's, let's clarify some more because I have a feeling this is someone already freed themselves from a romant from a um, codependent romantic situation. Okay, but I also have another energy out here where. Someone has these romantic feelings. They don't have to be in a codependent situation. Um, but they're all up in their head. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they're all up in their head. Yeah. That's, that's the second scenario. So I feel like one person needs to, free, a few people need to free themselves. Or this person needs to free themselves. Or have free themselves. From this codependent retreat. 
I take it as a marriage because you see the wedding dress there. They're all dressed up like they just got married, about to go into retreat. But nope, it's in the reverse. All right, so let's keep moving here. So somebody needs to free themselves because they don't feel like this is romantic feelings out here or have already freed themselves or somebody are, um, has romantic feelings and they all up in their head not saying anything. So oh wait, girl, what's going on over here? Let's see. Um, These romantic feelings. Romantic feelings from. Ooh. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Okay. So I feel like this person who had these romantic feelings for you, who no longer have it for this codependent energy out here person, um, they're trying to free, they're freeing themselves or they're trying to free themselves, but children are involved is how I take it. And that's how that, that's why that's affecting the romantic, uh, why they can't come forward. They're still trying to work on freeing themselves to take that control of their lives. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the bliss of, of holiday time. Yeah. So they're coming in with this honeymoon. They are. They're freeing themselves. They're freeing themselves so they can come and um, bring this honeymoon energy. Yeah. They want back this bliss. But I feel like right now this codependent person um, that they're dealing with, they have to, you know, that they're no longer in retreat with. They have children or, yeah, with this, with this person. So, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so this person is definitely trusting and um, putting their faith in that they're coming in. Okay. Um, they're probably going through a little trial and error right now because it fell right under the codependent energy. They no longer trust this person anymore. So whatever they're going through, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's calling, yes, it's calling for you to have faith. Yeah. And let's clarify some more. Clarify this retreat. Yeah. They, they, they're trusting in this situation. Yeah. They, they, they have to, they're putting in the faith that they, they believe in bringing this honeymoon. They're trusting in it. Clarify this trust and retreat. Clarify this trust and retreat. Yeah. They can't, yeah. They, they, they're working through this codependent energy out here with this person. Yeah. Clarify this retreat. Come on, holy angels. My God, yes. Clarify retreat. Yeah, I think they're going through a hard time with this trust. These cards are not coming out. This codependent person is... Who they trying to walk away from is not trying to let them go. Yeah. This codependent person out here, they're trying to keep them here to give this relationship a chance. They want them to stay right here. And that's why I feel like it's saying, you know, they got to trust in this situation and coming forward to bringing this honeymoon. Okay? Because they're dealing with this codependent person out here who's trying to keep them here. But they don't feel like that about them. No. They don't want to. They don't want to give, um, give the relationship a chance anymore with this codependent energy. No, they're trusting that they're going to have a new beginning out here with you. Okay. Or are you with them? Take it how it resonates. So I feel like if some of y'all are waiting on this person, you know of this person that's in this situation. Some of y'all don't know that this person is up in their head. Yeah. And they got this passion for you. Yeah. They no longer want to give their um, relationship that they are in retreat with anymore. They coming to you. They want this passion with you. Yeah, they do. If I just have a Yeah, let me find this honeymoon. I feel like, yeah, they're coming in with that passion. They're not trying to give this past codependent energy out here. Any chances out here. I'm so right under the retreat in reverse. I'm not retreating with you. I'm moving forward. I'm trusting in the situation. It's a little challenging right now, but I know I'm going to get through it and bring this passion to the one I want to bring it to. Yes. And I feel like this person out here that's in their head, that's not saying anything, they don't necessarily have to be um, with a purse, with a karmic or a codependent person. Um, ooh. Come on now. There's some cards out here, baby. Come on. These energies are... I swear, this, this codependent energy out here, they're holding on. Look at that. 
They don't want you. They don't want your partner to come towards you. They don't want this love to lead them to come towards you. Look at this. Look at that. The last read I did was the karmics. What are the karmics saying? Look at that. So, passion. Yeah, he's bringing in this honeymoon because he doesn't see. He's bringing in this um soulmate energy. Yeah, you're his soulmate. And so, therefore, you're not bringing in. He's not. Yeah. They want him to try. Does they want him to stay right here in this reverse energy, convincing that yes, you should have this passion with me because I'm your soulmate. But he's like, no. I'm moving away. Okay, he or she take care of resin. I'm moving away. I don't feel this passion with you. I'm gonna trust in what I believe in over here, and um, yeah, I want to bring my passion elsewhere. Okay, you're not my soulmate. I'm going over here to my true soulmate over here. Who y'all had me had me all up in my head thinking this person wasn't the one. And all this time, this person was truly my soulmate. <laughs> I think this this also goes for this person that's romantic have these romantic feelings and they're hiding it. Yeah. They see you as a soulmate, but they don't know how to come towards you. Okay. Yeah. Oh. For some of y'all, I don't think y'all know for this person that's all up in their head. And for others, this person is dealing with a karmic, a codependent energy that they're trying to work through a marriage situation out here with, or, you know, they've been together for a long time. Yeah. But children is involved right now. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. What's this trust? Sorry, give me the soulmate trust. What is this soulmate? Yeah. What else is going on? I feel like this karmic energy out here he or she's trying to keep this person from going forward, trying to use the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try this again. Nah. Nah, we're not doing this again. Give me one more card. Give me two more cards, Spirit. This soulmate trust issue. What's going on out here? What's going on out here with this? Oh, too many. Too many. Mm-mm. Not taking those, Spirit. Sorry. I feel like this codependent energy out here is this karmic. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I'm picking that up heavily. This person that's in a situation with children, they're trying to lead this person to come towards you. Yeah. They don't feel no honeymoon and bliss over there. Mm -mm. They're trying to bring this honeymoon to their soulmate. Come on, any more spirit? Any more? Okay, I don't think they want to talk anymore. They don't want to talk anymore? Too much for it. Two more. What is this soulmate energy? What is this this karmic trying to do with this soulmate energy? Because this masculine or this feminine is like, I'm not staying here. I'm moving away. I don't want to deal with your codependent. Okay. Last card. Express yourself. So this person, yeah, go ahead. Express yourself. And make the romantic gesture. Okay, make the romantic gesture. This person is coming in to definitely come and make this romantic gesture to let them know, like, look, you're the one I love. You know, all this time I thought you weren't the one, but now I see that you are the one. You know, I, before I didn't see it, but now I see you are the one. Okay, I feel like this person, um, for the one that's in this codependent energy out here, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, I feel like this codependent energy is you're no longer feeling this person. You're moving away from it. You're freeing yourself. You're no longer retreating, but you are dealing with children in the situation. OK, or uh, they are and they see you as the soulmate. They want to come back to you. OK, and they're no longer um they they have they're dealing with a little bit of trust um issue um they have to put, they put in their trust and their hopes and their faith into this um even though they're dealing with some challenges right now i feel like some of them are dealing with a, a marriage and they're walking away but they're holding the faith they're definitely holding the faith cuz they're no longer doing this with this codependent vibe out here yeah they're not giving it a chance they're moving forward. They're moving forward with this passion. And they're coming in to express this love. Okay? So if you've been waiting on this person, yeah. Healing family issues. 
Yeah, at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, healing family issues in the end here. Yeah. Calling in soulmate. Look at that. I can't make it up. Yeah, they, they're moving away from this family issues. They're healing. They, they, they. Yeah. There's nothing more to heal. This person has moved on. They're no longer healing anything. They're coming in to express their love. Okay. Some of them are still, some of them are still dealing with this family issue, but they're trusting and they're having faith. Because they are definitely coming out here to express their love to you. Okay, my beautiful subscribers, that was a collective read. Take it how it resonates. If you enjoyed this read, please give it a big fat thumbs up so our messages get circulating in the community channel, um, YouTube community. Um, and um, like, share, and subscribe. Love and light.